What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys today we are checking out the Menacer. This is a armored vehicle, also a weaponized vehicle. You can get it on Warstock for 1.7 million this week with a discount for only 1 million. So first of all we're going to check out the customization. If you want to customize this you can do it in three places. The standard places, the MOC with the weapon and vehicle workshop, the Avenger with the vehicle workshop or in the Arena War workshop if you have the weapon specialist. When it comes to the customization, I have to say quite a lot of things that you can do, like the front and the back bumper, pretty cool options. Things like the grills that you can also customize, also the skirts, the hood for example as well, also the roof. So in my opinion, for a weaponized vehicle, there's actually quite a lot that you can customize on this one. Now for the liveries, just the standard ones that we always see on the weaponized vehicles. I also had two liveries that were free for me by the way. I don't remember how I got them but probably just a event tweak where you get some liveries just for logging in, something like that. So it could be that you guys also have them. Now for the top weapon, you can upgrade it to a top 50 cal minigun instead of a machine gun, 205k. I think you have to unlock this with research in the bunker as well but I'm not sure about this. Anyway, if it's locked then you know that you have to unlock it with bunker research. I think that's pretty much it for the customization so in general pretty good some cool options that you have also the regular options that you always have of course for the people that want to know by the way the livery is called the santo capra coins livery like i said it's one of the free ones so i don't know if everyone will have that and the color is race yellow so to test out the performance the first thing that i did was i did two drag races first of all against the night shark over here you guys can see that the night shark is much faster not only in a drag race but just in general the night shark is easier to handle and faster it's kind of logical of course as well because the night shark is much lighter it's smaller and it also doesn't have a gun on the top then also the insurgent pickup custom this one was a little bit closer because they're both very big and heavy vehicles. They also have a gun on the top, but the Insurgent was still the faster one, guys. So for the speed, the Menacer, definitely not the fastest armored vehicle. Now for the gun on the top, I have to say the damage is very good. Over here, you guys can see it against the NPC cars, the police cars. You just have to shoot it a couple of times and they already explode. So I would say that the 200k upgrade for the gun on the top is definitely worth it if you guys have it unlocked. Definitely go for it because it will make the car a lot better. Then over here, for example, against a helicopter as well. The damage, of course, it's the same. It's still good. The thing is just the max angle that you can actually aim upwards. So sometimes you have to drive backwards so you can shoot the helicopter. This is the case with a lot of mounted machine guns or miniguns on vehicles. It's just something that you have to deal with. I know it's annoying, guys. So besides the gun on the top, you also have guns on the front that the driver can use just like you have on the Night Shark, for example. The big difference over here, of course, is that you have the guns on the front, but also the guns on the top. So for the machine guns on the front, the same as the gun on the top. The damage is good. The aim is, of course, horrible because it's a mounted machine gun on the front. But the good thing is you can still use your drive-by weapons as the driver. Then the armor of the windows over here, you guys can see it's not really good. Normally it should be semi bulletproof on the Menacer, you kind of notice this when you are shooting the windows without someone in it. They don't break immediately but still, you guys saw it, when you shoot someone in the car they immediately die. I think the only car that does this good in GTA is the Kuruma and besides that I don't think that any car is really bulletproof. Then the resistance against missiles, so over here we are testing it with the Toreador but with the Oppressor Mark II or with the Deluxo it should be the same amount. We tested it out twice and the result was 23 missiles, which is very good of course. That means that one Oppressor Mark II isn't enough to take you out in the Menacer. Then over here also a test with the B-11 Strike Force and the explosive machine guns. Of course this one you can't count, but I would say that it can also resist a B-11 Strike Force with the explosive machine guns if someone tries to kill you in free mode. So guys, that was basically it. In general, I do recommend the Menacer good armor against explosives. The armor against bullets is not good of course but you see that with a lot of armored vehicles. The speed is a little bit slower than other armored vehicles but the looks pretty good. You have two guns, one for the driver, one for the passenger so that's also a plus. The guns are also good so in general I would say that the Menacer is definitely not bad. Thank you to Joseph by the way for helping me out with this video by the way. Shout out to you. That was it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my discord in the description and peace out you guys.